Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Today I'm going to be showing you this makeup look right here. It's perfect for St. Patrick's Day. It's very simple. Green eyes, orange lip to go with the Irish flag. So yeah, if you want to see how I got this, please keep watching. I'm going to start off today using my NYX eyeshadow base and skin as always. I just like to put this on my ring fingers and then smooth it all over the eyelid. Sorry if I'm not like in the frame in some of these. I'm doing this at my mom's house, so I wasn't prepared. Next, I'm going to be taking my Special Occasions palette by BH, and I'm going to go in with this light brown color right here. It's more of a tan color on a big fluffy brush, and I'm going to be using this as my transition color. Using windshield wiper motions right into the crease. doesn't have to be perfect. Next, with another fluffy brush, I'm going in with my BH 2nd Edition 120 eyeshadow palette with this green shade right here. And I'm just going to be placing this along the crease as well, just a little bit under that transition color we just did. Running this back and forth, making sure everything's nice and blended. Now I'm going in with a flat um, shader brush. This is also from BH. And this bright green shade from the same palette. And I'm just going to be packing this all over the lid. You can use as much or as little as you want, just depending on your preference. I wanted mine pretty bright, so you'll see me going back and packing some more color on. Now with um, the first, second brush we use, I'm going to go back and blend everything together. With another fluffy brush, I'm going to be going in with that darker green shade from the BH palette. And just lining this, or putting this, I should say, on the outer V and up into the crease. Doing the same thing on the other eye. Just making sure everything's nice and blended. Now I'm going back in with that bright green color and just packing a little bit more product on the lid because when we blended it made some of the product disappear. Next, with the first shader brush we used with the transition color, I'm just going to go in and make sure everything's nice and blended once again. Sorry, I'm not in the frame. I don't have a mirror behind my camera, so I can't see if I'm in the frame or not. Next, I'm going to go in with this cream color, and I'm just going to use this as a brow bone highlight with a small shader brush. And with a pencil brush, I'm going to go in with the dark green shade we used earlier and just line the lower lash line. I'm not being too precise with this, just making sure it's not anything crazy under there. And then with the brow bone brush we used. I'm going to go in with this like shimmery green color and I'm going to use, as a, use that as an inner corner highlight. 
But I wasn't in the frame for that part. Sorry. I do apologize. Now using my Maybelline Master Graphic Eyeliner, I'm just going to quickly line my um, lash line on the top, doing a little bit of a wing. I love this pencil or this tool they came up with. It makes it so much easier. Doing the same thing to the other eye. I'm going to curl my lashes and get them ready for some falsies. I think this is just an e.l.f. eyelash curler. Going in with my L'Oreal Voluminous and Carbon Black and just coating my lashes. Once again, apologize for not being in the frame. And I forgot to do a clip of what eyelashes these are, but they're the um, cherry, Red Cherries 43. So I'm just going to place those on my eye. I like to push them up just to give them some more curl. Same thing with this other eye. I love how long and like fluffy these lashes are. Now with my L'Oreal Silk Listen Me Eyeliner in black, I'm going to line, or, yeah, line my waterline. You can use white, orange, nude, whatever color you prefer here. And then I'm going in with my telescopic and carbon black, and I'm just going to coat my bottom lashes. And here is the finished eye look. Now I'm going to go in with my Maybelline's Electric Orange lipstick. You can do whatever color you want. I just did orange so I can be like the flag. And here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you would like to see another St. Patrick's Day tutorial, please let me know. I have something in mind for a little bit of a more dramatic look. So, yeah, have a good day.